Yeah. You can paint anything you want. It's literally a blank canvas. And this is what you painted. <laughs> you want to talk me through this? No, it's a painting. You, you have to just look at this and think what you see. Hi, I'm Michael Costa, and welcome back to season two of Warm and Fuzzy. The players are relaxing, and we're learning more about them. It's a win-win. You're not a player. What are you doing here? This guy, huh? Okay, come on in. This is your chair to the right. Oof. What do you think? Oh, I like, I like this setup. You like it? Yes. You feeling chill? So bright, you know? <laughs> yeah. Do you like the bright colors or what? Sometimes, yes. I like different combination of yeah. like yellow and pink. Yeah. It's interesting. I mean, we're trying to create a warm and fuzzy atmosphere. So comfy. Yeah. And feeling. Yeah. But I guess really what I want to ask you is what is your warm and fuzzy? I don't know. I'm somewhere in, on the beach uh, just laying down, chilling, doing nothing. Is there tennis around? No. Please. No tennis? No tennis. I mean, you're pretty damn good at tennis, <laughs> but what you're saying is that your most happiest place is on a beach without tennis for a second. I mean, after a year playing tennis, yes. Yeah, okay. Well, you've had a hell of a year playing tennis. I mean, you won the Australian Open. You're number two in the world in singles. Are you number one in doubles right now? No, I no. stopped playing doubles. You have yeah. been but before. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be exciting to be number one? Are you thinking that way in singles or is it just tournament by tournament, this type of thing? I'm trying to take it step by step, but of course I think everyone, everyone have the same goals and everyone would like to be number one, number right. one in the world. So, I mean, of course I would like to be, and I'm really working hard for that. Hopefully one day I'll, I'll become number one. I didn't mean to bring so much intensity into this conversation, so let's <laughs> Chill it back out. Let's make it warm and fuzzy. Ball cake, we have some soft music, please. Right? <laughs> Just enjoying it. Great. Thank with, you so much, Diana. Ball cake, thank that. you so much. <laughs> How do you feel now? Ready to go. <laughs> Ready to go. Yeah. What type of music is your type of music? Oh, it's different. Even Spanish uh, music, uh, like pop music, uh, rap, whatever. Whatever, like, sounds good for me. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Uh, I want to show you some pictures, and I just want you to tell me whatever it makes you feel. There's no right or wrong answer here, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm your therapist, and just talk me through it. What does this make you feel? <laughs> A lot of happiness, I don't know, freedom. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> okay. Freedom and fun and yeah. happiness. What about this? Me on court. First thing is um, I start thinking about. <laughs> well, you love tigers. Yeah. Right? Talk to me a little bit about that. I was born year of tiger and uh, one day I was sleeping, dreaming about a tattoo of tiger and I just made it one day and yeah, I really, I would like to... Uh, have a nice walk with the tiger, you know, like to have a nice picture with the tiger, just to touch them, to feel them. <laughs> wow, that's pretty amazing. I mean, you did win a Grand Slam this year. You could probably buy a tiger. Oh, you think so? I don't know. I'm afraid if uh, I'm afraid about like tiger seeing my tattoo and like attack me, uh, thinking of I don't know another tiger or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Did you ever have the magic eight ball growing up? Do you know what that is? Magic, no. What Magic is? eight ball. It's you, you ask a question ah, to this toy. And I just saw it in the movies. I you just saw it in the one. movies. Yes. Well, guess what? The movies come to real life here because we have the magic tennis ball. <laughs> ball kid, magic tennis ball, please. And you can just ask it any question and it will give you an answer. Okay. Any question about life, love, work, career. You have a question you want to send to magic tennis ball? Uh... Do you want me to start? It should be fun. Okay, you start. I'll start. Is Miss Sabalenka enjoying this interview? Magic tennis ball. Yeah. Don't lose hope yet. <laughs> so that's good. You're enjoying it. Yeah. See, it gets it right. Yes. Now your question. What do you got? Magic tennis ball. Magic tennis ball. Uh, will it become number one? Will Miss Sabalenka become number one in the world? She's already won a Grand Slam. Without a doubt. Ooh, that's a good one. You like that? Yeah. Do you like that? Are you gonna carry that in? You wanna ask another question or you, you wanna keep it at that one? 
I'll, I'll just stay Keep it at that one yeah. for sure. Ball kid, get the ball, please. Ball kid. Ball kid, bring me the painting. <laughs> All right, so we've asked in backstage to paint anything. Yeah. You can paint anything you want. It's literally a blank canvas, and this is what you painted. <laughs> you want to talk me through this? No, it's a painting. You, you have to just look at this and think what you see. I thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for sharing with us your artistic expertise <laughs> and best of luck this week. Thank you. Let's clap for Arena Sabalenka. How Thank about you. some music to play us off, right? Yeah. Yeah, great. Thank you, Diana.